Hey, hey, everybody. It's Danny from Griswold Family VK, along with Landon and Adric and our great friend and partner channel, Blaine, with Rayleigh Creative Travel. And uh, welcome to Griswold Family VK Family Game Night. Uh, to start off with, I just want to wish everybody a happy Halloween and thank you guys so much for deciding to come over and spend your Halloween night with us. So Blaine, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. How about you? Doing well, man. Doing well. Good, good as we can. So, hook them horns. Hook them horns. <laughs> you hear that? That's Razor. I saw that shirt. You saw a shirt. Mm -hmm. Hey, right, so to to start off tonight, the boys wanted to uh, play a few rounds of Bean Boozled. I don't know if you guys know what Bean Boozled is, but. Uh, we're going to play a few rounds of that. Before we do, I'd like to welcome in everybody that's in the chat. And, uh, Is that our throw up bucket? Invite you guys to share us out if you'd like. And um, again, our game night, we, we play a game, crowd, a fan favorite called Kahoot. Please stop. So you guys just need, if you have a second device like your phone, you can use that. If you don't, you can uh, split screen your computer and that will work just fine as well. So. First person I see here in the house tonight is Miss Amy Kephart. Hey, Amy, great to see you. Thanks for being here. She was posting some pics in her Facebook of her Halloween costume, so that was cool. Did you see that costume? I have not, no. Nope. That was pretty cool. Next, we have good old Ford man, Kenneth Oaks, who had himself some Halloween trivia. I think it was last night. That's right. Oh. Well, that was good as well. Then we've got... Blaine saying, hey, hey, all, welcome in, and make sure you hit that thumbs up if you are new. Well, go ahead and hit the big red S below. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Anthony Simone, happy Halloween. Anthony, you too, buddy. Thanks for being here. Miss Najuma Brown, good to see you, Najuma. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Lori Sims, welcome in. Checking off Hulu to join. Thank you for being here. It's great to have you. Let's see who else we got. Mr. Bill, MGM Family Travel. Bill, good to see you, sir. Happy Halloween to you and the family. Anthony Simone. I don't know if I said hi to Anthony yet, but if I did, hi twice. Anthony, welcome in. Good to see you, buddy. Tammy Chaudry. Hey, Tammy. Welcome in. Great to see you. Thanks for being here. Anybody I miss, Blaine? It's Jeff. Hey, yeah. Lucy. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Lucy. Welcome in. Thanks for being here. Good to see you. Jeffrey, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Happy Halloween. He might be taking some moon pictures tonight instead of sunrise or sunset. That's true. It's supposed yeah. to be a full moon, right? It, it, yeah, it was kind of cool here uh, where we are uh, by our uh, hotel, outside our yeah. hotel. Um, it, the moon was partly cloud covered earlier, so you could just see the top of it peeking up over the cloud. It was pretty cool. Here my fellow Okies, Weekend RVing. Hey, guys. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Jeffrey says, happy Halloween, everyone. You too, Jeff. All right. So for those of you who don't know what this is, it's called Bean Boozled. And uh, you want to explain it, Lennon or Adric? I will. Okay, go ahead. So when you open when you open the box, you see a whole bunch of beans. A whole bunch of beans. Where did all those come from? <laughs> a whole bunch of beans and a wheel. And a wheel. Well, you but you you covered the wheel. You know? Yeah, you can't see the wheel. <laughs> and what what do you do? And then you spin the wheel and whatever one you land on that's the jelly bean you have to eat. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't, if it's the bad one, I don't swallow it. And you're either going to get a, a flavor that tastes good or a flavor that tastes bad, right? All right. Who wants to go first? Larry, you go first. You go first, Larry. I'll go first. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> These wheels are not very good at all. Yeah, no. 
All right, so I got strawberry banana smoothie. Or Yummy. Dead fish. So your choices for uh, that I have are strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. He's gonna really like either. Like. And Blaine, you said you've played this before, right? Yep. I, I always make a rule for myself that no matter what, I have to eat the whole thing. That's I right. Can't I've done that. I'm, but that's the way we are. I've, I've eaten <laughs> bad ones. <laughs> the boys like to spit it out if it's not good. So here's what it looks like. So my uh, two, my two choices are what now? You got dead fish. Dead fish. Or, or hold on, hold on. Banana. Strawberry banana. Dead fish yeah, or banana. Strawberry banana. All right, I, let's see. I think it's strawberry banana. Let's you hope. think it is? Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Nope. <laughs> dead fish. I, dead fish. You go second, AJ. Yeah, it's dead fish, all right. <laughs> got some people coming in. Jonathan yeah. Chong, hey, buddy. Welcome in. Okay, I got toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Oh. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Yummy. Jarhead and Gingers, welcome in. Nothing like a good stink bug on Halloween. <laughs> Dad, welcome in. And this time it really is Kimberly Griswold. I know because right. I because I see Landon back there. I knew Landon <laughs> didn't have the control. Uh oh, I see the face. Oh, God, it smells like. <laughs> <laughs> he got him some stink ball, but it looks like he likes it though. It He's not spitting it out. That just smells disgusting. He said it's not bad. It just smells gross. It smells like a stink Ooh. bug. <laughs> <laughs> well, please. All right, Landon. How many are we playing? Two. We playing two rounds. Three. Three, three rounds. Okay. All right. Oh, it's on the line. That's on the line. <laughs> it must have been a gross one. Must have been a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> Pop Pop says he likes your Texas Chocolate shirt. Pudding Adrian. or canned dog food. <laughs> Uh oh, chocolate pudding or canned dog food. <laughs> I land, I hey, land. You the rule. You, you gotta eat the whole thing. thing. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you gotta eat the whole thing. <laughs> gotta eat the whole thing. Pop, pop, pop said he'll give you twenty dollars for eat the whole. Nah. Hey, that stink bug one must really smell because Kimberly just said did bear just fart or is that your joke? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was your husband. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that was me. That was my ass fart. <laughs> oh, uh oh. See which one he got. There he goes. Bye bye. Let me go get it. Jeez, Lenny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the hiccups. All right, let me see my let me see my second one. Here. I haven't missed anybody coming in the chat yet, have I? Just making sure uh, we welcome everybody. By the way, if you're getting here just now, we're playing a, a couple of rounds of a, a game called Bean Boozled, if you guys know what that is. It's like a truth or dare game, kind of like Russian roulette or whatever. Yeah. You you, you got to eat a jelly bean, and it's either got one that's going to taste good or one that's terrible. It smells good, but it tastes good. Hey, Doug and Nikki, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Hey, Doug and Nikki. Which one is mine? Right there. Juicy pear or boogers? Oh, yeah. Hey, I, I eat both of those. Yeah, I was like, you should, be, you should be used to both. Either way, I'm good. <laughs> I wish I got that one. Boogers. Boogers taste a different way. Either way, I'm all right with this one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's juicy pear, I think. Let's see. Just keep on saying the good ones. It'll be the opposite. Yep. Oh. I got lucky. Yeah, lucky. That's, my, that's, probably, that's probably one of my favorite flavors besides the watermelon that uh, Jelly Belly has is Juicy Pear and Watermelon. That's my two favorites. Oh, I got a good yeah, one. Yeah, it's pretty good. Is it the toothpaste? I got a good one. I got a blue. blue yeah. Oh, I just got the, the easy one. Yeah, I got the easy one. I get a freebie. The toothpaste or the... Toothpaste. Uh, 
Toothpaste or berry blue? Yeah, yeah. can't go wrong with either one of those. So he's fine with his. Yeah, yeah. All right, give your brother the wheel. That's the blueberry one. I'm Whatever. <laughs> Uh oh, that's not good. No. Rotten egg or buttered popcorn? Rotten no. egg or buttered popcorn? Oh, we're rotten egg. No. <laughs> I heard, I heard, Jeff, that that was a good game. Yep. A lot of yellow in this one. All right, Ernie. Let's see what you got. Rotten egg. You got, you got, your, you got yeah. it. Got to eat it. Come on, that's the bike. Uh. He just didn't like the tip of it. <laughs> yeah, he don't get much. He, he can't tell what it is. He hasn't gotten the flavor yet. <laughs> Must be good. Yeah, it was a popcorn one. Who was actually running me? It doesn't taste that bad, though. Hey, John. Welcome in, buddy. Jane in travels. Good to see you. Doug and Nikki. Welcome in, guys. Thanks for being here. Last round, round three. So far, I'm one for one. <laughs> yeah, I taste butter. It's buttered popcorn. Taste the butter. Oh, instead of taste shoot. the rainbow. Let's see here. Put it down here. Maybe it'll spin better. Yeah, that was a good spinner. right there, boy. Uh-oh. Barf or peach? Uh -oh. Peach or barf. Man, that barf one, you know, the, the thing that's the worst about that is it burns your throat. Right yeah, it tastes, like, it tastes just like it. That burns. Yeah. I'm not using that one. Mm -hmm. All right, here it goes. Oh. Didn't you already do a peach and bark? No, I don't think I did. I did the juicy the pear one. or whatever. Yeah. Wait, is this the last one for all of us? My dad said Texas OSU was a good game. We just beat ourselves. No. Bill says, Lennon, if you get Halloween candy, I'm the official candy checker. So have your dad send it to me. I can check and make sure it is okay. Did you hear him? He basically telling you to send him all your Halloween candy. Would you do that? No. <laughs> Stalker. I'm just I've got an amateur live streamer question. We're only doing our fourth this weekend. I want to include some clips from prior streams in a video. Can we download and save our live streams? You want to answer that one, Blaine? Let's see here. Again, yeah, live streamer. I've got an amateur. We're only doing our fourth this week. I want to include some clips from prior streams. And can we download and save our? You probably you probably have more experience with the. Uh, we can download and save our live stream. I'm trying to can you download it from YouTube. Oh, it'd, be, it'd be a big download, though. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, especially the live stream. Because normally an hour at least. So. Hey, I know who they can ask with that, though. Hey, uh, Doug and Nikki, send a message over to Bill there at MGM. I know he knows how to do. I've seen him uh, on their live streams. I've seen different clips where they've had uh, past live streams on their show. So, yeah. If you can message him, I'm sure he can help you out or Lucy, either one. Okay. Yeah. He just said, uh, yeah, message him. So, Lori yeah. says, uh, I know we gave our kids a variety with the foul choice flavors. <laughs> All right. Hey, so I haven't eaten mine yet. So what is it again? Yours is peach or barf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I think it's barf. Be oh my god. <laughs> oh. You made the worst one to try to swallow it. Jimmy, Christmas. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, that's That was definitely barf. Alright, I got I got um Hey Nancy, great to see you. Welcome in. I got what Lenny got last last year. Better popcorn or Ryan egg. But here's the thing. I'm gonna, egg. I'm gonna get Ron egg. Okay. <laughs> oh God, my. Hey, so we've got 23 in the house and 16 thumbs up, guys. If you don't mind, please smack that thumbs up for us. We really yep. appreciate it. 
Give us that thumbs up. No, that's wrong, Nagel. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh there gosh. goes AJ. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's spitting that one out or is he going to eat it? Eat it. Eat the whole thing. Come on. Be a man. Be a man. Eat it. Eat the whole thing. Come on. Hey, Jarhead and Ginger's in the house. Yeah. Welcome in. Welcome in, guys. We have not tried the Skittles. I didn't even know they had that. I didn't either. I was about to say the same thing. I haven't tried that. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Anyone dressed up? I'm, I'm not always, dressed up, Nancy. I, my wife says I'm scary enough. I'm always dressed up. Okay. All right, then, and last one, then we'll get started. Okay. That's pretty bad. <laughs> you got dog king? Uh, no, no, I need uh, a better spin. Uh, hmm. I need a better spin. <laughs> I need a better spin. Read, uh, read uh, the comic that that goes like a worse spin. Don't you dare. Just do it. Just spin it. There you go. Like that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. um, all right. Oops. There you go. Do that. Keep on your neck. Just get a better spin. There you go. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I'm in my. You haven't done yet. Yeah, okay, we'll just grab that. All right. No, we're not doing that. Please. How about. Oh, I'll give you a good one. Tutti Fruity or the, what's the other? Because Tutti Fruity's good. Tutti Fruity or or Stinky Socks. Oh, Stinky Socks. Oh, that's a good one. Did you get, hey, Brian, good to see you, buddy. Welcome in. Happy Halloween. If you get Tutti Fruity, you're just, hold, just hold your dad's socks up. That's what it'll taste like. Stinky Socks. <laughs> if it's Tutti Fruity, you're lucky. Yes, Jeff, no problem. Uh oh. Come on. <laughs> uh oh. No, it's not. This one's really free. Bye bye, trash. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for putting up with us, guys, for that. Hope you all enjoyed watching us do that. You know, I saw one uh, YouTuber. He actually he went to Universal and he. Played this when they got on each ride. When they got on to each ride, they popped in a, a bean boozled jelly bean. Uh huh. They had to keep it in their mouth for the duration of the ride. Oh, wow. So maybe we'll try something like that. That might be kind of cool because uh, no. I'm interested in seeing about maybe getting, trying some of those Skittles that they were talking about. Yeah, no kidding. For those of you that don't know, uh, the boys just found out this past Monday a pretty cool surprise that we're actually going to go the week of Thanksgiving down to Disney World. So we're excited for that. It'll be only our second time that we've ever been. So Yeah, that'll be fun. Brian said, what are y'all playing tonight? We're going to play a little kahoot here in a few minutes. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen. Those Stay of you up. Yeah, and play. Those of you that have been here before, you know how it works. Those that don't haven't been here before it's very very simple um oh man that's not bad all you need to do on your second device is just go to uh kahoot.it and enter that pin code right there seven three eight eight five five two and once you do that if you will just uh type in uh, i'm in or if you don't want to play that's fine maybe you just want to watch this first round we're going to play actually i've got five rounds set up so and they're all Halloween themed, uh, but the first one is short, just so people you know get an idea of like how to play and stuff like that. Oh, it's no, only no, it's, no, this no, first no, one's no, only ten no, questions. No, no, no. So, uh, no. just go to Kahoot.it, enter that pin, and then when you get signed in, just type in "I'm in." There'll be another YouTube channel down there too. That's awesome, Jeff. Okay, I'm gonna go. Actually, no, big <laughs> so we've got 24 in the house and we've got three signed in so far you guys are gonna have a great time yeah we hope so lucy 
How many bad ones did you get? Two. Two out of three? Yep. Two out of three. Yeah. This our dream will be in Florida the week of Thanksgiving. Hey, that's cool. Might run into him. Yeah. So we've got six people in. Hey, Bama Rush. Good to see you, Anthony. Welcome in, buddy. Happy Halloween to you and your family. Hey, Garhead and Gingers, it's it's easy. Yeah. If you have your phone, just go to that website right there, Kahoot.it, and I think Blaine posted it in the chat. Yep, and they're in. Um, yeah. And then type in that code, and you'll be good to go. All you got to do is just uh, select what you think is the correct answer, and that's it. They're all multiple choice. Carlos will be down there Thanksgiving yeah. week. Hey, Garrett. Welcome in. Good to see you. Happy Halloween. We got eight people, ten people now. Yeah. Out of 22. If you're not playing, let us know so we'll know. We should wait or not. Your wife is going to play. Hey, that's fine. That's awesome, Anthony. Appreciate that. Yeah. Tammy's in. Yeah. Brian's in. Yeah, guys, if, you, if you're just going to watch, just put uh, NP, please. Amy says someone out there has the name I should have had. Hmm. Hero Cat. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay, so Jeff's just going to watch, he said. All right. That's all right, Doug. Yeah. No worries. Thanks for letting us know. It won't stop spinning the name selection. <laughs> Refresh, Refresh it. Yeah. Refresh it and try. See if that helps. Rapid Koala. Oh, okay. As that was my Halloween costume. Uh, That's cool. Mm. Anthony well, says see, he's bro. in. Yeah. You're playing now? No. Oh, you're just watching this on the big screen TV? Big screen, big oh, screen. Lord. The big screen TV. Not many times you, you watch your own live stream on a big screen TV. <laughs> True. Hey, Shanna. Welcome hey. in. Glad to see you. All right, so there's 20. You think we're good? Let's see. There's 19. 14. I and see 19 over there watching and 14 in. and a couple uh, of them playing. Yep. Yeah. Jonathan, are you um, – Jonathan Chong, is he – Oh, yeah. He says he's in. Okay. Yep, I see that. Yep. think we're good, right? I think we might be good. All right. This first set of questions is all about Halloween history. Oh, Lord. So here we go. Which ancient group of people did Halloween originate from about 2,000 years ago? The correct answer is the Celts. Or the Celts. Hmm. Silver Wildcat, 
Giving Rooster, Rapid Koala are your top three. Question two. What was the name of the ancient Celtic festival that Halloween originated from cult? That's all right, Lori. We just appreciate you being here. You're more than welcome to answer in the chat as well. That's fine. How do you say that? Sam Hain? That's what, yeah. Some, yeah, I think so. Hey, Kristen, welcome in. Great to see you. Thanks for being here. All right. New leader, Rapid Koala. Woody Pelican, second. Silver Wildcats, and third. Question three. On the night before Samhain, what did people leave returning dead ghosts on their doorsteps? So what did they leave for the returning ghost? Hmm. I guess it's working all right for everyone right now so far. Yeah, I'm going to do that thing we did the other day on the... Oh, the wheel? Setting thing. Playback. Just to be on the safe side here. Correct answer was food and wine. There we go. Food and wine. Radiant snail moon. Dynamic Egret is the highest climber up three spaces. Awesome. Hmm. Question four. In the 8th century, the church changed Samhain into... Hey, Carol, welcome in. Great to see you. Happy Halloween. All Hallows Day. That's exactly right. Good job, guys. Rapid Koala, Woody Pelican, Radiant Snail. Question five. In medieval times, the needy would go blank, praying for dead relatives and return for pastry. Return for pastry? What? Do you know these answers, Blaine? There's been a couple of them I've got right, but I'm, I'm I'm doing good. There's just been a couple I've guessed at, a couple I knew, but a couple like this one here, I probably missed it. Right. I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, I missed that one. Souling. Hmm. Did you know that one? No, I haven't known half of these. I know. Rapid Koala, Dynamic Egret. Hey. Dynamic Egret has the highest answer streak of three. Hmm. Awesome. Lori's been getting them, knocking them out of the park over here on the chat. I see. <laughs> in the 18th century, these immigrants revived ancient traditions in the form of trick or treating.
Irish, John says. Yep, Irish, indeed. Good job, guys. Rapid Koala, Dynamic Egret, Woody Pelican. Dynamic Egret has the highest answer streak of four. You think that's Amy? Mm, I don't know. Halloween did not take on a family-friendly, kid-centered form until the... I bet you I missed this one. Yeah. 1950. I was thinking it was 1910. Amy says, nope, not me. I only got two or three right. Hey, I'm in sixth place. now. I just went off the podium. <laughs> Dynamic Egret. Ra Radiant Snail. Rapid Koala. Dynamic Egret has five in a row right now. Jeez. Somebody knows her Halloween. Americans spend approximately how much money on costumes each year? Chimney Christmas. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, Keith. $2.5 billion. Hey, Keith. Welcome, man. Good to see you. Happy Halloween. Dynamic Egret has a streak with six in a row. Rapid Koala, Woody Pelican. Question nine. Halloween is the second most commercial holiday most spent after what? So the most money is spent on what holiday and then Halloween is second. I know that one. You would think, huh? What's been getting it wrong? <laughs> Out of all the candy people, ma. Jeez. All right, Keith. I apologize, buddy. We just don't have any power at home. Makes it hard. Welcome in, Spikers. Welcome in, TJ. Good to see you, buddy. Spikers, we'll be on for a while, so you guys are you guys are more than welcome to join whenever. We're just on our first game, and we're going to play about five of them, and they're all Halloween-themed, so more than welcome to get on when you get home. That's awesome. Yeah, we, we, got, the time on, we got the time change on our side tonight. That's true, huh? <laughs> Christmas. That's the correct answer. I'm sure that's what you put, right? Yeah, sure is. I bet I bet Valentine's is a close third though. All those flower flowers people buy that flowers die, and chocolate die, die in three days. Well two days. Dynamic Egret has the highest streak of seven than Rapid Koala. Oh, Sturdy Wolf moved up. I was third until I missed that one. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. What are you? So, oh, uh, Woody Pelican. Oh, okay. I've been going back and forth. I guess this is the last one here. Last question. Pumpkins originated in this region. All right, Keith, I'll check it out, buddy, when I get a chance. Central America. Only two people got that one right. 
I got it right, and I went back to the podium, so we'll see what place I got, though. Let's check it out. Oh, Third first. place. Witty Pelican. There you go. Second place, Rapid Koala. And your winner of the first game is Dynamic Idri. They pretty much had the lead the entire time, huh? Yeah. Hey, Ronnie. Happy Halloween, buddy. Good to see you. Pretty, yeah. pretty good, though. Eight out of ten. Woo! Eight out of ten. Heck, yeah. That's good. You only missed three? Mm-hmm. The Rapid Koala only missed three. That's awesome. Good to see you, Ronnie. Thanks for being here. All right. Let me stop sharing that one, and uh, I'll share a new one. Yeah, we're in a remote location, Keith. We're at a hotel. <laughs> oh, Brian won. Awesome. Good job, Brian. Wow. You knew a lot, buddy. Yeah. All right. So the spiker said they'll join in about 20 minutes. So we'll save right. the, yeah. the more kid-friendly ones for when they get on. Um, Let's see here. We'll just do this one right here. It's uh, another Halloween trivia. So we'll, we'll go for this. All right. This one's a 30 question here, so it'll, it'll be a little, it'll take a little longer. Get that shared real fast for you guys. Does that volume sound all right right there? Yeah, maybe a little, turn it down. Just oh, turn it down a little bit more. That's good. That's good right there, actually. Yeah. How about right there? Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. All right. Oh, uh, John, the pin is right there, buddy, on the screen. You just go to that website, kahoot.it, on your phone, and enter that pin, 308473. 26 people spending their Halloween night with us. That's awesome. Thank you guys for being here. Hey, Tammy, don't worry about it. If, I mean, if you got a minute. If, I mean, if it takes a minute to answer, we'll we'll wait. No problem. If, yeah, we can wait for you, Tammy. We'll wait. Yeah. Just just type. Yeah. Make sure you type. I'm in whenever. Yeah. She's saying her connection slow, so she's going. She was, she thought she might be holding everyone up, but hey, if it takes the whole time for the question, that's fine. Hey, good night, Shannon. Thank you so much for stopping in. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wait, Anthony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're in no rush. At least I'm not. I'm not. I know. I don't have nowhere to go right tonight anyway. You will next time. Okay, no problem. 24 in the house, 14 in the chat. Guys, just remember, we'll wait, uh, but just remember when you get signed in, type in I'm in in the chat. And if you're not going to play, please just put NP in the chat so we know not to wait on you. All right, and Ginger said this is a fun game. Yeah, we enjoy playing it too. And again, guys, if, you, if you'd like to, if you know of anybody who you think might like playing along with us or with you, feel free to invite them. I don't think there's a limit on the amount of people that can play.
Does, does John say he's in or not in? John from JN and Travels. I see. Uh, that's what I'm on. I see Rocky Hawk. And he's, yeah, I guess that's him. Or maybe he met now in or I don't know. MGM's in. Twenty two in the house. Fourteen. And we know Tammy and uh, Jeffrey's not. If Jeffrey's still here, not playing. So. You think we're good? Uh, did Bam, did uh, Anthony, oh, yeah. Anthony have a rush? Yeah. Hey, where are you staying? Welcome in, guys. Great to see y'all. Thanks for being here. Uh, where are we staying? If, if you guys want to play, um, Kahoot, just get on your phone, go to Kahoot.8 and enter that pin. We'll wait for you. They said just watching. Oh, okay. There's anybody, if, if anyone in the channel, we're waiting on Bama Rush, but if anyone wants us to hold up, let us know. If not, we'll. Once we hear from Bama Rush, then we'll continue. Right. All right, Keith. Okay, yeah. Somebody came in, the Sausage Fox. Right. Okay. Anthony Obama Rush trying to get his wife in. No worries. Yeah. Lucy's in. Yeah. Rockstar. Rockstar yeah. won't bet. <laughs> All right, Keith says he's in now. Everybody in my Facebook group is already sleeping. Hey, no, no problem, Brian. Appreciate you being here, buddy. TJ's in. I was wondering about TJ. We're just we're waiting on Anthony, right? Yep. I am lame. I don't know what to press to get into the game. Uh Lori, if you'll just go to that website right there, kahoot.it, and type in this code, 3008473, and then it'll automatically sign you in. You just have to hit spend like one time, and then hit enter, and then you'll be in. And we can wait for you if you want to try to play, Lori. You're more than welcome to, to get signed in. We can wait for you. No worries. Hey, no problem, TJ. We're just glad, glad you're here, buddy. So we got Anthony and Lori. Bam is going to destroy LSU, Blaine. Uh -huh. TJ, so. 
We don't it seems like it don't matter how bad we are or how bad they are. That game, that game is always a good one. All right. Batman got in. Lori, are you going to try to get signed in? I don't know whether to wait for it or not, Blaine. Huh. I know. I'm waiting to see us. We got 25 watching, so. Uh... Mm hmm. He said some funny names. I can hear Keith laughing now. There's somebody came in. It must be Darren. It says Happy Gator. Must be Darren. What do you think? I'm going to ask you right now. Computer stairs. Can you put that website back in there just so she can click on it? No. Uh, Lori, Blaine's going to put the website in the chat for you. Just click on it and then enter the code that's there on the screen. And that's all you have to do. Yeah. Thank you guys for, for bearing with us. We appreciate it. We just want to make sure everybody that would like to play gets a chance to get signed in. Did she get it? I'm not sure. We still got 18, don't we? Okay, she said thanks, guys. I'm not sure if that's meaning she's in or thanks for waiting or what.
I think I should go ahead and start. Class mm, ain't go for it. All right. No sight yet. Which country did Halloween originate? No sight, yeah, I don't know. I put it in the chat, I don't know. If, hmm. Ireland. Decisive fox, zany buffalo, lively hare. Which one? Which one are you? Wise fox. Question two: Which Catholic church holiday is Halloween linked to? Jonathan said he put Scotland by accident. All Saints Day, all Hallows Eve. Yeah, thank you, Brian, for that. It says don't don't forget to give a thumbs up. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Zany Buffalo, Mighty Bunny, Decisive Fox. Question three. What was the name of Dracula's sidekick? Hmm. I don't know. He has no sidekick. Jonathan says, to be fair, I'm modding other channels too at the same time. Yep. I know one of them. Hmm. Just so happens to be a guy with the same name as me. Decisive fox, elated elk, bold llama. Bold llama has the highest answer streak of three. They usually go live at midnight, though, don't they? Or no? Yeah, but they're doing some kind of Halloween something, I uh, guess. All right, so. I saw they were on. Uh, Which phobia means you have an intense fear of Halloween. I know that one. Sam Hanophobia. That makes sense because that's what it used to be called. Remember it said on the last? Yeah. Kahoot. Decisive Fox, Rocky Hawk, Elated Elk. Up five places, Groovy Ferret is the highest climber. Nice. Out of which vegetable were jack-o'-lanterns originally made? I know that one, too. I don't know. Thank God for good directions. 
Turn of greens. Turn of greens. Decisive Fox, Rocky Hawk, Elated Elk up three places. Jolly Alpaca is the highest climber. Awesome. What happens if you stare into a mirror on Halloween night? We learned this one on uh, trivia. Was it was it our trivia or uh, Kenneth's? That's what it was. Over on Kenneth's trivia, they had this question. Mm -hmm. I hope I remember it. I clicked on it pretty quick, so hopefully I remember. <laughs> Yep. Good. You will see your future husband or wife. Yes, indeed. So, oh, Rocky Hawk took the lead. Decisive Fox, Rocky Giraffe. Three players Rocky. just hit an answer streak of three. Rocky Hawk, that's John, wasn't it? If, I if think we... so. What'd you say you are? I am Wise Fox. <laughs> Amy. Amy. I'm going to have to go stare in the mirror then. <laughs> Dude, I end up breaking if I stare into it. That's funny. All right. Next one. Question seven. Who wrote the novel Frankenstein? One I finally know. Yeah. I know this one. Mary Shelley. That was back in the early 1800s. Rocky Hawk, Decisive Fox, Rocky Draft. Three players have reached an answer streak of four. Awesome. Transylvania is a region in which country? <laughs> Anthony says he looks better when he stares into the mirror. <laughs> you know this one, don't you? I think so. Yeah. Uh, I think I do. Looks like Tammy might know it, too. Romania. Yeah. Romania. Hey, Q's Cruisers. Welcome in, guys. Great hey. to see you all. Happy Halloween. I knew it, but Jelly Shelly just popped on Danny's stream, and I pressed the wrong button. Rocky Hawk, Decisive Fox, Rocky Giraffe. Three players have reached an answer streak of four. Question nine. Is a pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? Double Shelly. Hey, uh, people answered that one fast. A fruit, indeed. Rocky Hawk, Sisa Fox, Rocky Giraffe, Social Panda just did an answer streak of three. Nice. Question 10. The word which comes from the old English word wis. What does it mean? I don't know if I said that right or not. I have no idea. Oh, 
surely I got it right. I don't know. Nope. Wise woman. Hmm. Guess not. Oh, Rocky Hawk, Zanny Buffalo, Mighty Bunny. Up four places. Jolly Alpaca is the highest climber. I gotta step my game up. Mm -hmm. Dang. I got the last one, right? I drove by the Spratu filmed castle before. That's awesome, Jonathan. What will happen if you hear an owl's call in the middle of the night? Mean someone will die. Jeez. <laughs> I like that answer. You will see Hooters. <laughs> I thought it's Crow's call. Amy says she thinks she's in last place. I was in last place earlier. Rocky Hawk, Zany Buffalo, Mighty Bunny. Rocky Hawk has a streak with 11 correct answers. Hey. Hey, John. How do you call what do you how do you call this action? Trick or treat. Smell my feet. That was pretty easy. Yeah. Rocky Hawk, Zany Buffalo, Mighty Bunny. Rocky Hawk has 12 correct now. And we're on <laughs> social distancing. So he's got them all right. Soling is an old trick or treat where poor people would go to places to. Hey, Eric. Welcome in, buddy. Great to see you. Happy Halloween to you. Remember to make sure you're live all. Yep, indeed. And what you want to do is you want to go to that settings wheel down at the bottom right and go to playback speed and click on two. It'll make Blaine and I sound like the chipmunks for a while, but <laughs> it'll put you back at, at live. Bama says his wife was the one. Awesome. All right. Offer prayers for the dead in exchange for soul cakes. Yep. Ooh, Zany Buffalo took the lead. Zany Buffalo has the highest answer streak of nine. Hey, Eric B. Yep, we're doing well. Hope you are, buddy. What was the first time that Trick or Treat was mentioned in a newspaper? Oh, he got over a hundred. That's awesome. Yep. Congrats, Eric. <coughs> Much deserved, buddy. Nineteen twenty seven. A lot of people got it right. A lot of people got it wrong, too. I had no clue. 
Me, I got it wrong. No idea. Danny Buffalo, Rocky Hawk, Decisive Fox. Up five places, Rockstar Wombat is the highest climber. Question 15. What is another popular symbol of Halloween? Finally got one right, I guess. And the answer on that one was a scarecrow. scarecrow. Twenty twenty. <laughs> Where is the Jack Skellington option? Mighty Bunny moved up, up three places. Social Quail is the highest climber. Question 16, what is another name people give to Halloween? Snap Apple Day. Snap Apple Night. Have you heard of that, Blaine? Uh -uh. Snap Apple? Me neither. Probably why nobody got it right. Uh, two answers can be right and nobody. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true, huh? Two answers can be right. had a, 50, uh, a good chance to get one right and nobody. <laughs> wow. Everything stayed the exact same because nobody got it. Nobody knew that one. Snap into the snap one. Exactly. That's what I was thinking, too. If a person wears his or her clothes inside out and then walks backwards on Halloween, then they think they're crisscross. Do you know crisscross? Yeah. Uh -uh. Crisscross will make you jump, jump. Yeah. Jump, jump, jump. They always they always wear their clothes backwards. This right here is pretty tough. This this quiz right here. Yeah. Rory's still on Witch's Day. <laughs> hey, I got that one right. He or she will see a witch at midnight. Hot diggity dog. I'm still in eighth place, though, but I got it right. They got all kinds of superstitions out there, don't they? Yeah, they do. Rocky Hawk took the lead back. Up three places, Social Panda is the highest climber. 18. Why do people dress up for Halloween? Uh, let's see. That's kind of a cool picture. Yep. No. All right, Kenneth, welcome back, buddy. <laughs> Phone froze. Because they need to be different from demons and souls. Dang, I missed that one. Huh. I put it because it's fun. Yeah. Jeez. It's like a lot of people put that. 
Eight. I, that answer made it sound satanic or something. Top three stayed the same. Around what time did Halloween originate? Around four thousand BC. Only two people knew that one. Mm -hmm. I wasn't one of them. Three in a row. Social Panda is back in the game. Rocky Giraffe moved up to to fourth. I see. All right. How Halloween celebrations are known in Hong Kong? What Halloween celebrations are known as in Hong Kong? Festival of the Hungry Ghost. Yeah. Rocky Hawk, Zany uh, Buffalo, Decisive Fox, still top three. Jonathan said, I'm Chinese and don't know this. <laughs> Lori says, don't know about red live button. Where do I find it? Bottom left of the video, Lori. Yep. If you're not live, it'll be gray. And then make sure it's click on that. What American city is known as the capital of Halloween? What are you doing? You can't learn it. That's what you think? Oh, there were two of them. You were wow. right. On. Good job, Bubba. Wow. An Ananka, Minnesota, or Salem, Massachusetts? Either one. Rocky Giraffe has the highest answer streak of three. Hmm. Question 22. Which is the largest Halloween parade in the United States? You want to sit up here with me? Don't click any of that stuff, man. Okay. Are you flipping me off? No, no it stinks. The Village Halloween Parade in New York City. Awesome. Very cool. Remember how I thought it was that one? Rocky Hawk, Zany Buffalo, Decisive Fox, up three places. Jolly Alpaca is the highest climber. Nice. Question 23. What is really rare for you to see on a Halloween night? Mm -hmm. 
That's what you think? Yeah. <laughs> that seems like it would be pretty rare. A full moon. You're right, Jonathan. That is tonight. Exactly right. I think they're all rare. Why don't I mean put Santa Claus fighting with Easter money? That's I what Larry said. I thought I thought about putting it on. Well, hey, who knows? Maybe somebody dressed up for Halloween as Santa Claus and somebody was Easter money and two siblings, <laughs> two siblings fighting each other. Three in a row, social panda is back in the game. In which country do white cats are believed to bring bad luck? You always hear about black cats being uh, bad luck. Look at the eyes on that thing. Jeez. One red and one blue. I got a white cat. That's right. You do, huh? Mm -hmm. John says this is the first time in 76 years they have a full moon on Halloween. Mm. Only in 2020, right? That's right. Hey, Rachel, welcome in. Good to see you. Happy Halloween to you. Hey, Rachel. United Kingdom. I put either Australia or the United States. What's, what's Jonathan saying? He had gray cats. In between. Yeah. In between. Huh. Why is Fox moved up? Tough round. Four players lost their answer streak at three. Which food used to be a traditional dish for Halloween night? Boy, I eat that all up. Looks pretty good. That's a big old feast right there, huh? It is. Oh, in between black and white. I see. Some barbecue. <laughs> barbecue. Pumpkin juice. <laughs> That's what you think, Lenny? A barn brack. The heck is that? Oh, that's what it is, but lucky guess because I guess it's the only one I never heard of. <laughs> Rocky Hawk, Zany Buffalo, Decisive Fox up three places. Happy Gator is the highest climber. They believe in me. Question 26. Why black cats are seen as a symbol for bad luck? Roasted bam. <laughs> I'm a good parent to two black cats, Jonathan says. There you go. Because they would be related to witches. Yep, you were right, huh? Wise Fox has the highest answer streak of six. Looks like they're on fire. He 
You can identify a blank by its unibrow, hair palms, <laughs> tattoos, and a long middle finger. What? Mm -hmm. You mean this one? Hey, watch it. <laughs> Hey, Teresa. Good to see you. Welcome in. Happy Halloween to you. Thanks for being here. Guys, if you haven't yet, please smack that thumbs up for us. We'd appreciate it. Am I a witch then? <laughs> there they are. Welcome back, Spikers. You all right, buddy? Werewolf. That's kind of what I thought it was. Hey, Teresa, we're actually about done with this round and then we got about four more rounds to play so you're more than welcome to uh to jump in uh oh do you see that boy uh, zany buffalo just took the lead over oh, yeah. rocky hawk decisive fox is in third up three places rockstar wombat is the highest climber man 28. They are mythical beings who defy death by sucking the blood of humans. Vampire. Hey. Marine wasn't an answer. <laughs> yeah, we're glad. Thank you for helping, Amy. We appreciate yeah. it. Vampires. <laughs> Thanks, Landon. Anthony said. <laughs> My ex wife. Jeez. TJ said that? Yeah. <laughs> three players have reached the answer streak of three. How do people use to kill witches in the medieval ages? How did people used to kill witches in the medieval ages? By throwing some salty water on them, by burning them on a stake, by throwing their brooms on them, by calling them by their witch name. Hey, Saltwater Born, welcome in, buddy. Great to see you. Thank you for being here. Happy Halloween to you. Better be careful, Bubba. Drowning them and if they can survive underwater. Burning them at the stake. Oh. I'm trying to get up there on that podium, dang it. Rocky Hawk took the lead back. Happy Gator just hit answer streak three. Rocky Hawk, Zany Buffalo, Decisive Fox. Just load everything up, Amy, and take it with <laughs> all the clothes. That is not anyone got any ideas on how to pack to live in a hotel. Hey, I know how to live in a hotel for a week. <laughs> Last one When did the Salem witch trials happen? Oh.
Hopefully that'll get me back up on that podium. We'll see. I doubt it. Mm -hmm. It is. Hopefully soon, Amy. We don't know. We're still half the people. How many people still have power off? Around 20,000, you said? 200,000. 130,000 still have power off out of 400,000. And we're, we're one of those lucky 130,000. February 1692 to May of 1693. Yeah. Third yeah. place. I got fourth place. Decisive Fox. Second place. Zany Buffalo. First place. Rocky Hawk. TJ came in third. Lori says, if you have any laundry available, pack me moon at Amy Kilport. Tammy says she went and bought a generator just in case. Yeah, Tulsa didn't get it bad, though, from what I understand, like Oklahoma City did. All right, let's get that next one loaded then. Good, good game, everybody. Good job. Indeed. What place did you say you got, Blaine? Fourth. Fourth? Yep. All right, this one is... Halloween costumes. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Wait, you don't know Halloween costumes? I probably will. Oh, geez, your mom's on oxygen. Yeah, I completely understand that, Tammy. For sure. Hey, good night, Carol. Thank you for being with us. Have a good one. Good night, Carol. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Good to read the pen again. Yeah, he's it's, it's about to pop it up on the screen. It's a different pen than, than last game. Nope, that's not it. <clears throat> Here it is. There you go, John. The pen is nine one two six two four four. Looks like people are figuring out how to sign in a little easier now, huh? Yeah, we got 12 out of, I mean, we got 21 in the house. Mm -hmm. Didn't take Cindy long to get signed in, that's for sure. <laughs> Cindy in, TJ, Keith. Yep. Anthony. Jonathan. Yep. 14 in so far. Hey, no problem, Jarhead and Gingers. We'll wait for you guys. Yeah. Just go to that website, kahoot.it, and enter that code that's right there on the screen, and you'll be good to go.
Kenneth says he's in as Dazzled Yak. Jarhead and Gingers got in. Just wait for a good old uh, Bama, Bama Rush. He's still here. Pretty good. 16 out of the – we got 19 watching, so yeah. 17's in. I don't know if he's still in the chat. Yeah, he is. He's still here. Top in car key just to make sure because it could still be in there. He is showing his watch, and sometimes I've noticed that it takes a little while before it actually gets out of the queue. There's 18 in it. Not any No, no. I'm not going anywhere. No. Not right now, no, I can't. My brother can. No fair, Ginger wants to be sweet <laughs> llama. We had pet llamas. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, Keith. I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> I'm gonna remove it just in case. <laughs> Jeez. Kind of scary. I mean, I know it's Halloween and everything, Keith, but man. <laughs> man, we're just missing one. Is Jeffrey still in the uh, is everyone in that wants to play? Well, let us know if you're not playing so we know. Yeah, if we're guys, on. if you're not playing, please just type NP so we know. That may be it. Bama Rush is in. Huh. That probably is it then, huh? Keith, I died laughing. All right, let's get it going then. Yeah, I think that might be it. Again, this is Halloween Costumes. All right, here we go. Who is this? Yep, Freddy. Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Excited Camel, Majestic Falcon, Amazing Dolphin. That's who you said you were, the dolphin? No, I'm flying, Crab. Crab? I didn't get mine. Yeah, I didn't do it quick enough, apparently. <laughs> you didn't slow everyone up, Tammy? No worries. Who is this? I never saw this movie still. Have you seen this movie? I, I know the I know who it is, but I, I have not either. Nope. Money Penny Pennywise Rocky Pigeon Excited Camel Amazing Dolphin Which Batman villain is this?
TJ says, love this franchise, even though the book is way better. Lori and Amy are still talking about what to pack for their month-long trip to the hotel. Poison Ivy. Giving Badger has a streak with three correct answers in a row. Right for a second, I thought that said something else. You never know. <laughs> Which powerful female hero is this? Hey, Papa Mozo. Welcome in, sir. Happy Halloween to you. Hey, Wonder Woman. Indeed. Rocky Pigeon, Excited Camel at the chorus. Arctic Seal has a streak with four correct answers in a row. Who is this weird looking dude? It's right there. Are you going to play? No. Johnny Knife. Johnny Knife Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. Technically, it is Jack Sparrow, too, though. Everybody got that one. They're both Johnny Depp. Excited Camel, Rocky Pigeon at the course. Noble Lemming has a streak with five correct answers in a row. Who's this guy everybody's looking for? Which one has married? Which one has married? Do you know that? Which hmm. one has married? I don't know what. Mm -hmm. Purple Gator has the highest answer streak of six. Says Jarhead and Gingers are in Conroe, Texas right now. Hmm. That's down by Houston, I think. I'm pretty sure yeah, it is. It's like I don't know if you've ever heard of like the Woodlands. Yeah. Houston area. That's where that Conroe is. North Houston, basically. Who are these young ladies? I don't know if you'll get this one or not, Blaine. This is an old old TV show. You don't think I'll get that one? Will you? Yeah. I answer that one pretty quick. Huh. My mom used to watch this show all the time. It's from like the 80s, I think. Love the woodlands, yep. It's a pretty nice area down there, for sure. Yep. The Laverne Shirley Show. It's a guess, but I thought they were elderly. Helpful Raven is back with an answer streak of three. Nice. 
It's from the seventies. Holy cow! Yeah, it, it's late seventies, I think. Who's the dude with the L? I know this one. I think it might even have been in the mid seventies. I know it's been around. Loser. <laughs> Take the L. Luigi. Luigi. Oops, I put green. <laughs> then Guini. Up five places. If using Hawk is the highest climber. Oh, man, fat fingers on that one. What is the name of this wicked girl? I think I know this one. Harley Quinn. Giving Badger just hit an answer streak of nine. That's about all of them, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I agree, though not on game. It is like answering a Jeopardy question correctly. I put blue. What's wrong with me? Multitasking, Jonathan. Whose name should you not say three times? Beetlejuice. Yep. Exactly right. Beetlejuice. Charles. Yak has a streak with 10 correct answers in a row. Charles is in the house for Timmy Ray the King. He, Timmy is racing, he said. Welcome in. Hey, Charles. Good to see you, sir. Welcome in. They actually opened a Beetlejuice haunted house at Universal Studios today for just one day. That's awesome. They're not down there right now, are they? No. Nope. They get they're going though, right? Yeah. That's cool. What's this family's name? When, do you know when they're going? Um. Is it same? Is it Thanksgiving week? No, oh, it's um, December the eighteenth or something like that. Forty-seven more days, and Therese is going to Disney in January. She said that's cool. Me too. Yeah, it's true, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll be there in January. Yep. Yeah. How did uh, Timmy do tonight, Charles? The Incredibles. We get there December 19th. Four players have reached answer streak of three. What are these costumes from? Yes, it's a party in Disney. Timmy, fifth place. It's fifth place. It's not bad at all. Nope. Minecraft. We have to use our points in January, otherwise Disney takes them away. Hmm. One 
No two is in the costume. Yeah, you're right. Three in a row, Speedy Stork is back in the game. Who is she? I, I wouldn't know. I've never watched or read any of the Harry Potter books or seen any of the movies. All I know about Harry Potter is they have some rides at, at uh, Universal Studios and they make some pretty good uh, butter beer. Yep, I had the butter beer at Universal. Bought it. Not, not the best in the world. You didn't like it? I didn't like it too much. It's about like eating bean boozles or something. <laughs> Easy. Kayla just made me watch all eight movies. Jeez. Teresa plays it on Roblox. Roblox. See that. Hermione. Something. Hermione. Hermione. Voldemort, Weasley. Three players just hit an answer streak of five, and excited Camel just retook the lead. Amy oh. says she's read all the books. Huh. I uh, have them all, but I've not seen all the movies. Excited Camel, that might be Keith. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call this thing? I know that one. We have, Lori, we have every book that you can think of. Every book that's been written. Every DVD of Harry Potter. My wife's a huge fan, so... I watched them. I don't. I don't read or anything, but I've definitely watched all the movies. <laughs> We've got like a tote full of well, three players, full of book Harry Potter. Who created these things? Thing one, thing two. You see those going uh, down there at um, Universal. Or anywhere. Yeah. I see them at Disney a lot. Last year, a husband and wife dressed up as those uh, characters. Uh, for it'd be funny if it were just a hand. <laughs> Dr. Seuss. Indeed. <laughs> oh, Rocky Pigeon moved up. Three players just sent an answer streak of seven. Nice. Name this. This. Hmm. That's pretty good. Cutest one I've ever seen. <laughs> That's a pretty good costume for sure. Loompa Loompa. Loompa. Oh, 
up three places. Noble Lemming is the highest climber. That's cool. Amy has a streak of 16. Amy is on fire. What's the name of this prehistoric baby? No, lost the streak. Danny was asking me a question. <laughs> Willy Wonka knew all about the best rules in life. Pebbles. From the Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. Four players just got an answer streak of four. Party on Wayne, party on blank. <laughs> Ever think about the, all the OSHA violations at Willy Wonka's factory? That's funny. I may have broke my streak here. I don't think so. Wings World Party Time X Party on Wayne, Party on Garth. Yes, sir. Epic Horses took the lead. And four players just hit an answer streak of five. Nice. Question 19. The monkey is called. <laughs> that picture. I put dude is that's what first came to my head and then I noticed Garth. <laughs> hey Cargo Van Dan, welcome in. Great to see you. Thank you so hey, much. Hey Cargo. That's a new uh, friend of ours that I've been seeing a lot in the RV. Yeah. RV uh, chats. See what Jonathan put? I know that's right. <laughs> you can't you can't even see it's hidden. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. Some banana is happy. <laughs> Jeez. No, I wouldn't be Here is George. But there's a curious George, all right. Nice flying crab is back with an answer streak of three. You said that's you? Yep. There you go. Uh, Cargo Van Dan, we're playing a game called uh, Kahoot. We're about to finish this game. You're more than welcome to join us on the next one. It's real easy to play. Last ever, one. Who's the pirate? If you ever search Savannah Bananas, you'll see that same uh same costume that uh oh Williams really mm -hmm. not sure i need to search that then that's a savannah bananas there uh affiliate was a minor league team of the new york mets oh that's cool and their mascots the savannah bananas 
I have a 15 question win streak. Awesome. Cotton Jock Sparrow. Well, I got. I didn't do too good on that one. I think everybody was beating me. You know, I was sitting there thinking about a few of them. See how we did. Third place, Rocky Pigeon. Dang, 18 out of 20 is good. Second place, Epic Horse. First place, Excited Camel. Awesome. Great job, guys. Very cool. Runners up, helpful something, and the seal. And how did Amy say she got first place, and TJ say he came in first? He said, dang, second. Oh. <laughs> Bill says oh. he's not very good at this. Spiker's got third. That's too slow. All right, here's here's what we need to do right now. we got 22 people in the house. Thank you guys so much for being here. Appreciate it. And as our way of saying thank you to you guys, for those that are new, what we like to do each and every time we go live is – we like to. Good night, TJ. Right. Is he leaving? Yeah, he's 4.30. Work comes early. Jeez. Our workout comes early. Good night, TJ. Have a good one, buddy. Thanks for being here. As our way of saying thank you to you guys, what we'd like to ask you to do, first off, I want to thank all of our moderators. I want to especially thank my, my good friend and partner channel, Blaine, with Rayleigh Creative Travel, and also Magnificent Germany with Darren, and uh, all the other moderators. I know we've got Spikers in here tonight. We've got Amy Kephart uh, and all, the, all our other moderators that help us out so much. We ask that if you guys are a YouTube creator, please put hashtag creator in the chat. And if you are a YouTube supporter, which means you do not have a YouTube channel or any YouTube content, please put hashtag supporter in the chat. And I want to give a very special thank you to the supporters because without you guys, there would be no YouTube or YouTube creators. Um, I asked that if there's anybody in the chat tonight who you are not familiar with, you go leave a comment, let them know the Griswold family sent you. We would very much appreciate that. So let's see. See who we got in here tonight. First person I see is Miss Amy, supporter, but I'll be making stuff on my next cruise. There you go. Blaine. Anthony, creator. TJ, supporter, creator, and supporter. Yes, indeed. Brian's reminding TJ that he gets an extra hour of sleep brought to him by Daylight Savings Time. John, Jane, in. Oh, man, it just jumped. Jane, in travels, creator. Keith, big Disney fan, creator. Spikers, creators and supporters. Cargo Van Dan, creator. Jarhead and Gingers, creator. Brian, b d Crafts, creator. Keith, big Disney fan, both creator and supporter. Miss Lori Sims, supporter. Teresa, creator. Ford Man Kenneth Oaks, creator and supporter. Lucy, supporter, married to a creator. You got to quit saying that, Lucy. You're a creator, right. too. Bill, creator, MGM. Brian says he also loves to be a supporter. Yes, indeed. Bama Rush, Anthony, content creator. Thanks for sending me a message on Instagram. No worries. Tammy says stalker. Oops, supporter. <laughs> Lori says, now that I have the live button pressed, maybe I can join the next game. There you go. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for spending your Halloween night with us. We really appreciate it. I think I've uh, I got to go back in now to Kahoot. 
I accidentally logged out, so I got to sign back in real fast. While I'm doing that, Blaine, if you want to tell everybody what maybe you have coming up. All right. We have uh, Monday night. We have our Monday night travel chat, which is um, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then on Thursday of next week, we'll be a guest on Destinations Delight Crystal. So that's at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then we may be doing a Monday, I mean, a uh, Sunday night pop up. I'm not sure yet. Uh, next Sunday, uh, not this Sunday, tonight or tomorrow, but next Sunday we'll be headed to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we may do a pop up, like I said, on Sunday. Um, from there, but we'll definitely be live on Monday, which is a week from this Monday in Myrtle Beach, so that'll be fun. So I'll be looking for stuff coming out from Myrtle Beach. So make sure you make sure you got your notifications on and everything and hit the red button for us so you'll know when we go live and everything from Myrtle Beach. Awesome. Also, we have our Facebook group, the uh, Rayleigh Creative Travel Tribe. So make sure you go over and check us out and become part of that. So thank you. No problem. Thank you. All right, guys, this one's going to test your memory. If, for those of you that are fans of the TV show Big Brother, they have a lot of challenges sometimes where they look at pictures and they have to memorize things. And uh, so that's what we're going to do right now. You're going to have like just a few seconds to look at a picture. And then the question is going to ask you, it's going to ask you a question based off of the picture that you just looked at. So we'll see. We'll see who's got good memory in here. Hey, is Anthony leaving? I guess, yeah, I guess so. Looks like he's meant to be leaving us too. Good night. Hey, right. good to see you, Darren. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Thanks for being here. Oh, good night to Anthony with Bama Russia. Looks like Keith with Big Disney fan says good night, everyone. <laughs> Jonathan, get your pause buttons up. Oh. That's not it. Man. It's hard to it's hard to share the right one sometimes. Teresa leaving us too. Good night. If you if you are, says good Even night. Either they're just saying night to everybody else. Uh, everybody gets an extra hour of sleep tonight. If you're one of the states that I know, there's a couple that don't change. But come on, maybe I'll get it right this time, please. Third time's the charm. Thank goodness, please. Yeah. All right, there you go, guys. Sorry about that. Get your pause buttons out, cheaters. <laughs> oh, they're all just saying goodnight to everybody else, I guess. Seven here, we don't change on the river. Okay, cool. So, part two o'clock a.m., that's usually when the time will go back to here in South Carolina. So, at 2 a.m., we'll be at 1 a.m. So, cargo midnight. Yeah. Sorry, buddy, go ahead. Oh no! As I was saying, it's still midnight now. So, in two hours, we'll be back an hour. So, that's nice because I gotta get up at like seven o'clock in the morning. 
I thought we were going to play six, but we're only playing five, so we'll, we'll only have one more after this. I was going to tell Cargo, Cargo um, Van Den, if he wants to play, all you have to do is just go to that website, kahoot.it, and yeah. enter that code. I think that's in the chat, too. And then if you want to, uh, if you're going to play, we, once you get into the game, just put the word in in the chat. And if you're not going to play and you just want to watch, just put NP for not playing. So that way we know. Please. Right now we've got 16 in the house and 11 signed in. So we only have five that aren't in yet. I'm up early for the 50% off spirit store sale. It's actually really smart. Yeah. Like all the Halloween costumes uh, and stuff like that. All the candy tomorrow. Can you imagine all the 50 Yeah, that's all on sale. Mm -hmm. Shoot, I can play this all night. I ain't in no hurry. Man, I don't know how you... My, I am hero. Etch, 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 etchna. Etch, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I have to show the color. I ain't seen it before. Hero, Akidna or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it has yeah, for a yeah. It's it's uh one nine eight five nine three four. Cargo one nine eight. Wait. Is that eight or six? That is eight. One nine eight five nine three four. Yeah, I see it now. Yep. My proton pack would be gone, so I paid almost full today. Milked my wallet. What's a proton pack? I don't know. That's what I was sitting here. I was like, proton pack. Proton pack. Okay, Lori, what you want to do is go to kahoot.it on your phone and enter the pin that. 1985934. And then you're going to click spend one time and then hit submit or select or okay, whatever it says, and then you're good to go. Oh, Ghostbusters. Okay, I got you. Amy Kepar, what do you do? <laughs> it's funny. It's under supervision of the original designers so since Ghostbusters people wow. them every year. It's awesome. 36 thumbs up. That's awesome, guys. Yeah. Thank you. So we're waiting on Lori. Cargo got in, I see. I see, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that's it. Lori. He's waiting on Lori? Yep. Mr. Willie's not here, but I'll run the banner for Kimberly's Norwex. That's right. It's used as the basis for modeling for cosplay. Cool. Lori, just let us know when you get signed in, please. Maybe she doesn't want to play.
What do you think, man? Uh, Not joining. Okay, no problem. I was about to say, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. Well, again, this one is going to test your memory. You guys have to look at a picture, memorize it, and then you're going to be asked questions about it. I don't have a good memory, so. Here we go. Memorize this picture. How many different colors of pumpkins were there? Correct answer was four. Did you get it right? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I said five. Don't understand the ready bit. Hey, just click on whatever it says, Jonathan. You don't even have to click on it. It's fine. It's just asking you if you're ready to, to move on. Mm -hmm. Amazing Cat was first, Captain Kitten second, Glad Elk third. Memorize. And guys, the memorized part doesn't count against you. All right, here we go. How many windows were in the haunted house? Eight. Did you get that one right? Nope. Man. Smiling Wallaby has a streak with three correct answers in a row. Guess it depends on what they're counting. I mean, I guess all of them was counted. I don't know. Memorize this picture. Oh, you're talking about what Jonathan said? Hmm. Hmm. 
All right, here's your question. What color was the leaf next to the cup? It tries to get you to focus on the cup, and then it asks you a question that's not about the cup. Dang. No still? I stink at this. <laughs> yeah. You got them all right so far? I'm not playing. Oh. Uh, Maroon. The streak counts. No points for the ready buttons. Really, I saw red, brown, maroon, brown is the main bowl. All right, here's your question. What was not a costume in the image? What was not a costume? Which you moved up, you got one right. Yep, finally. Memorize. I need to do my playback speed up some. I need to do mine. All right, here's your question, guys. True or false? True or false? There was an owl on the witch's broom. I know this one. No, you don't need to worry about what it's saying, White Jonathan. Looks like everybody knows this one, all right. Oh, nice. Blaine, I did the the setting playback speed too, you know? Uh huh. And there's only four seconds now. I want to do YouTube, yeah. YouTube and Kahoot and uh, StreamYard. Probably about what mine is. It's not bad at all. Captain Kitten has a streak with three correct answers in a row. That's pretty good. Only four seconds. Memorize. All 
All right. What do you think the question is going to be? Huh? How, how many how many booze do we see? You think so? Let's see. What expression was not on one of the ghost face? Jonathan thought it would be how many ghosts have their mouth open. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I think I, I think I know this one. All right, I, didn't, I don't remember seeing one like this. Oh, I missed it. Crying. I put dead. Dead. White character. Caracos in the house. Creamy Oreo. <laughs> hey, this is Wyatt Carico. Tell Adric I said hi. What's going on, Wyatt? Good to see you, buddy. Hope yeah. you're doing well. Buddy Wyatt, remember? Yeah. Hey, Cade, what's up, buddy? Kate Frazier, hi. We're doing well, thank you. Kate's in here too. Adrian. Huh, I wonder what this question will be. Getting it so far ahead. Wonder if he'll say B, what's on what did the pumpkin say? What did the pumpkin say? That'd be a good one. What were the pumpkins on top of? Oh my gosh. Of course. Hey, Bill. I knew it was hey, but I put I put the wrong one. I ain't doing too good. I'm in sixth damn place. Glad Elk has the highest answer streak of three. Memorize. Mm, that's going to be a tough one. See you, Cade. Thanks for stopping by, you and Wyatt. Appreciate it. Don't forget me. What'd you say? I told him not to forget the thumbs up on the way out. Yeah, click that thumbs up, guys. Please. Thank you. Captain Kitten, Glad Elk, Brave Hamster. Brave Hamster has the highest sensory streak of three. I guess the color. What color hats were the pumpkin? Yep, you're right, Jonathan. Good job. He guessed correctly. Yeah. Kind of hard to tell. I wasn't probably because I wasn't focused on the hat. <laughs> can, can we go back to costumes? 
Hey, everybody's going to like the next game, Amy. That's for sure. Blaine will do well at that one. Little black, more silver. Who got that one? Right? Only one person. We're about to find out, I guess, if we see the. Somebody uh, down. It wasn't, it wasn't nobody in the top one. <laughs> nope. Memorize. Well, I've been trying to memorize, dang it. I think it'll be how many white pumpkins. That's what I was counting, the white ones, too. <laughs> that would be the opposite. Oh, Lucy got that one right. The question is on just on every other one, Lori. The other one is a picture for you to memorize. And then the the uh, next question, the next slide is your question. So like right here, how many white pumpkins? Uh, how many white pumpkins? I think I missed one when I was counting a while ago. Well, Lori, I guess, counted. I must have missed a couple then. He thinks there's six. I thought there was more than that. Nine. Some of you could just barely see a speck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hero, that game uh, moved up to fourth. That's you, huh? Yep. There you go. I can't I did, I, that's exactly oh. what I did, Jonathan. I did the same thing. Because that's why I said I thought I think I miscounted, but I know there was more than six. These are just random questions. What percent of children want candy? I want candy. I'd take you know, a guess on this one. I can use some candy right, right now. I see a few of those ca uh, candy bars I could chow down on. What? This is subjective. <laughs> I look, I kid don't know what he wants either. He's like, hmm, so many choices. Mm-hmm. I went with 75 just to be on the safe side. Did you? Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Too. Ooh, 50. Wow. Nobody. I knew it wasn't going to be 90, but I thought it would. I didn't see 50. Yeah. Gosh. Do you sleep? Hey, have a good one, Cargo Van Dan. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, Cargo. See you. Score stayed the same. Oh, double point. Double points. What percent of parents say they don't eat their children's candy when they do? 35. That's a choice. 20, 33, 35, 22. 35. What are you going with? Adrick said 35. I'll say, I'll say 22. Bang. <laughs> I went with 33. I don't know how I got that right. Lucky guess, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> One person. What is the world's heaviest pumpkin? Hey, this is that store. 
This is that story that Jonathan was talking about, I think. Where are the choices? Uh, Spirit. Where are the choices? 1,800, 1,900, 1,810, 1,545. 1,800? Yeah. Hadrick says 1,800 on this one. 1,800. I don't know. I guess that, that one, obviously. But I went with, what did I go with? 1,545. That's all it is, is a guessing game. What was it? 1810. Hey. That was, that was a mixed bag there. Two, three, two, three. Mm -hmm. Brave Hamster moved up to second. I'm still in fourth place. I've been there fourth for a minute. Is the year that people started trick or treating, not celebrating Halloween? Trick or treating. What year did trick or treating start? What year did trick or treating start? I may have missed that one. I think I did. Oh, hey. 1927. Wow. We answered this before. I got it wrong, I think. No, I'm right. Nope. Glad Elk moved back up. What is the place that they started celebrating Halloween in? They seem like some same questions, just that asked in a different way. Bill says that uh, 2,624 pounds was the biggest pumpkin. Jeez. That's crazy. Ireland, the correct answer. Three in a row for Smiling Wallaby. Number 24. What year did they start celebrating Halloween? Mexico is Day of the Dead. Yep. Oh, hush. Correct answer was 4,000 beasts. Good Lord. That's a long time ago. Yeah, it is. Power Wildcat is back with an answer streak of three. Seeing a spider on Halloween means...
a loved one is watching you. Mm -hmm. A loved one is watching you. Did you know that, Blaine? I got it. Yeah. I got that one. Uh, 917 points on that Captain one. Captain Kitten has the highest answer streak of four. Oh, you're in fourth again. Yeah. I'm, I'm behind Glad Out by 300 points. 319, something like that. The fastest pumpkin carving lasted 18.27 seconds. True or false? The fastest. The correct answer is false. Oh. You got a streak with five correct answers in a row. Yeah. Third place now. Double points. What did candy corn used to be called? Your yeah, shirt's on backwards, Bob. Do we really think I care? <laughs> He'll take you. You just got pizza. No, I didn't want it. You didn't want it? I want chips. Correct answer was what? Chicken feed. Chicken feed. Four people got it right. All right. Oh, oh. look at there. Up three places, Space Zebra is the highest climber. How much does an average American family spend on candy? Does this mean, I guess this just means for Halloween? I guess so. Um, Amy says she had some candy corn last night, hasn't had it in years. Now somebody, now somebody spends more than what I put on there. They got problems. I guess it depends on if you're doing, if you expect a lot of trick or treaters. Alana made me eat some. <laughs> I got it wrong. I went with sixty-seven eighty-nine. Eighty-six dollars and twenty-seven cents. That's a lot of candy. Yeah. But I have. Of course, those big bags they got nowadays cost. I saw one at the store today. It was like twenty bucks for a big old. Yep, that's true. Bag. Twenty or twenty, maybe more. I don't know. Uh oh. Hey. Glad elk came back up. Ain't that the pickings? Twenty nine. How much do Americans spend on Halloween candy total? Then we just go over there as a whole country. Uh, that's true. That was an individual a while ago. I thought we had this question earlier on some, uh, one of them. Hope I remembered it.
I went with 2.5 bill. Bill? Yeah. So it's 2.5 million dollars. I can't remember. That's all right. I'm still on the podium. Probably third now. Nope. Well, looky there. What is the record for most lit jack-o'-lanterns? Jonathan has the lead, he says. Thirty-five thousand five hundred and one. Jeez. What city has the largest Halloween? This one we've had. Largest Halloween parade. New York City. New York City. I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> I only got one more to do it. Yeah. Last question. Double points. Uh -oh. Is it Halloween? It's a tough one. Considering Central Time is Halloween. Actually, I was about to say for me, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, November 1st, so happy November. <laughs> hey, I got first place. Brave Hamster. Glad Elk. And Kira Kina. Jonathan's going to be upset. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know, yeah. oh, he's not. Cool. All right. So, what better way to leave you guys? on this game night with then with our last game which is gonna make everybody want a late night snack before they go to bed. Candy. Candy. I want candy. That's exactly right, candy. Candy cane. <laughs> May as well take your brother too. All right, let me get this shared because Jonathan said he wants more bean boozled. <laughs> Candy land.
Hey, good night, Lucy. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Well, Lucy. Yep. All right, we got how many in? Nine? Nine. And how many we got in the house still? Fifteen. Fifteen. So we're waiting on about six. Even animated chocolate is making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Got about five people. Hmm. All right. If you're one of those five that are the spikers still here? Uh, I haven't seen that. I didn't see anything about the last one either. Uh -uh. About them being at what place they got or anything. It says they're, but you said sometimes it'll say they're still in the chat even yeah, if they're not. Uh, five minutes after car key left, I just was seeing she still showed up her being there after she said bye. Right. Well, it looks like that's probably, oh, well, there they are. Watching on TV. All right. Are you guys playing, Cindy, still? Not playing. Okay. Well, let's go, then. That's probably it. I am the polite Impala. Impala. All right. Here we go. Which candy bar is the best selling in the world? I know which one it should be, but I know which one a lot better. Mm -hmm. Also, so I could have went either way. I'll go when I'm done here. This is our last game. I say Snickers. My game, yep. Yep. Snickers. Light Impala, Smiling Dove, Charming Pigeon. Number two. Mm -hmm. Two or false. The Milky Way candy bar is named after the galaxy. You guys were here on our trivia Wednesday night. You know the answer to this question. 
We actually had this as one of our trivia questions. Yep. Not Wednesday night this week. It was Thursday night, huh? Thursday, yeah. Normally Wednesday. False. I must not have been there. Amy says, I only knew this because of Wednesday night. Oh. Thursday night. Same thing. It's named after a milkshake or something like that. Uh, the, um, what you call it? Um, I forgot the name it said. Because oh, yeah. I, I think I read that question. What did the Three Musketeers candy bar originally contain in one package? Another one that we had. Back up. I get back over and do a speed. I the air conditioner blowing on my back for the last two hours. Three pieces of candy, all different flavors. I think they said it was like Neapolitan, kind of like one with yeah, chocolate. Yeah. 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 Super Cat, Polite Impala, Smiling Dove. Question four, what does M&M stand for? I tell you what, that, that Mars family, gosh. No, oh, yeah, huh? Mars and Murray. They came up. They came up with about all the <laughs> good candy, except for that farmer boy who made all the Reese's, huh? Yeah, Reese's. That's one of my favorites too. <laughs> three players who hit an answer streak of three. Which Halloween candy may be the most popular? I know what my favorite is. I think I know what the answer is. I hope Reese's. Hey. You guys been watching that Mandalorian, I guess, since it came out, huh? Yeah, we watched it from when it came out Friday. Mm hmm. Yeah. What's with the May? Oh, I don't know. There's no popular news thinking. Reese's is the answer. Always have a three players just sit answer streak of three. Because you have a commercial. Which football player is obsessed with Skittles? Oh, I know this. Uh -huh. I know this. Former football player. Yeah, Sorry, Lori. Just so you know, I did not make these questions. <laughs> And you got a 50-50 chance on this one. 
And there's one current that like is obsessed with Skittles. Beast mode. Marshawn Lynch. And now it's off and tomorrow. You know that? that don't come I missed that one. Glowing Sable has the yeah. highest answer streak of four. Alvin Kamara does the airheads. Upstairs with me. What were Starburst originally called? Well, I tell you, well, I love some Starburst. Do you? Yes. What's your favorite flavor, favorite color? I don't know. I like, you know, they have the original, I guess, and then you got um, other flavors, tropical. you know, tropical and then some other flavors, but I usually get the tropical kind. What's your favorite original one? I would say strawberry would probably be yeah, the uh, pink's, pink's the best one by far. Yeah. Definitely. Opal fruits. I did not know they were called opal fruits. No. Would have been a good one. Well, oh. table has a streak with five correct answers in a row, and that's you just pop back up into first. Yeah. Opal fruit. What is the most important ingredient in a Heath candy? Oh, that's easy. Heath candy bar. I love this. I love me some good old Heath candy bars. I don't know if I've had a Heath candy bar. I love what's in them. I knew it was one or the other. You know the other oh, one dude. I picked. Uh, I never had one. I couldn't remember if it was uh, caramel or toffee oh, was in it. Yeah. Yep. Good old toffee. I like some toffee. Mm -hmm. I'd probably like those uh, Heath bars then. Oh, snapping. Yeah. I got my, I got bypass good. Glowing Sable has a streak with three correct answers in a row. Hey, Rance with Rogers. A lot. Hey, Rance with Rogers. Welcome in, guys. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Glad to have y'all. I'm going to go with Rance. Every eight hours, M&M Factory in New Jersey pro produces how many M&Ms? Jeez. Seven, that's a tough question. 75 million, 1.8 billion, 1.6 million, 2 billion. I would be surprised. Hey, uh, Rants with Rogers. We've been playing a game tonight. Uh, Every other Saturday night, we have Griswold Family Vacay uh, Family Game Night, and we play a game called Kahoot, and we're just on our last game right now. We're just wrapping it up, so thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Two billion. Jeez. Glowing Sable has a streak with three correct answers in a row, and Super Cat just took the lead. What can the European Milky Way do to milk? Got that right, and I was a mod closing another stream. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
float on it. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Shelly. Good to see you. Hey, Shelly. Shelly had to choose which Danny she wanted to watch tonight. Yeah. yeah, she was all dressed up over there. Dang, I went, I went far back. Glowing Sable has a streak with eight correct answers in a row. In Europe, I didn't drink milk. What was the first name? Dude? What was the first name given to the Snickers bar? Oh, we know this. We do. This was on our trivia on Thursday night as well. And they said in the United Kingdom, they still call them, call it this. I'm costumed up. Was she on their show or what? Yeah, I think, yeah, she was. That's cool. Marathon. Boeing Sable has the highest answer streak of nine. How many jelly beans are manufactured solely for Easter? Huh. Oh, really? Shelly was dressed up for like Dia de los Muertos, huh? I might have to invite her on after this just to see what she costume looks like. You saw her, Blaine? Yeah, I went over and gave a, gave a lot earlier. Good. I told him, I said, I'm, I'm here to give him a light. Good night. <laughs> That's cool. 16 billion. Jeez. I got that right. So I just guessed. Oh. Read a gecko. Glowing table has 10 correct answers. Jeez. Jeez. Somebody knows her candy. True or false, Mike and Ike were actually real people and existed at one point. Well, you would hope so. <laughs> I'm going to go with true. I went the opposite. Oh, oh my god, it no one named their kid Ike. False. I take it Shelly's talking about the uh the live stream. Yeah. Blame I, hope so. I, I hope so. <laughs> I've been I've been I've been known to be every, every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just can't help it. Blaine was a fast dishwasher. False. Oh. Yeah. He was. Glowing Sable still has all of them right. No, almost all of them. Identify this candy bar. Oh. I can't tell if it. Oh crap! You can see the two nuts on the top. Yeah, I know. Don't don't make me feel bad. There's one on the right and one on the left. Almond Joy. Yeah, those are good too. What's this Almond. green box? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't pay close enough attention either. Uh, 
Amy has... Which company is printed on the Baby Ruth candy bar wrapper? What company makes this? It's not that. Yeah. That would be it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nestle. You can move if we didn't get that one right. I think I didn't see it. What is the most important ingredient in an average mounds bar? That's easy. What is Shelly putting in the chat? Green boxes. <laughs> I don't know. Is she doing that on purpose? I think so. Oh, that's what she's answering, I guess. Oh. Oh, maybe. I get it. Ugh. Yeah, green square. Red triangle. Yeah, there, yeah, there we go. She's yeah, got that. I get it. <laughs> hey, we're a little slow. Sorry. <laughs> Shredded coconut. Hey, I went up one. Shelly, are you still in your costume? Yep, probably. I think she says she's all costumed up. They send her up here. Check out her costume. I thought that was like, I didn't see the right answer. I just guessed. I thought it was something else. Munch now, munch some later. I'd I never heard of that. I thought it was for, like for the kid or for the kid in you or something, but I didn't see the answer, so I didn't know it. Hmm. I guess, too. I've guessed it. Mainly all of them. Super Cat is back with an answer streak of three. Shelly says she'll be right back. I put that link in for her. I kind of want to see what Yeah. What animal was Snickers named after? Oh, yeah, I remember this. This was on our, our trivia, too, huh? Of course it was. A horse named Snickers. I'm going to get me a horse and name it Snickers. No, you are, huh? Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. Oh, there you go. Smooth Cheetah has the highest answer streak of five. Smooth Cheetah. Jonathan says I've got two right. Let's see. 
What does M and M's not want you to do too much with your candy? What the world? This is a crazy question. Heck, if I know, I would imagine they want you to eat. Oh, you can, so that wouldn't be right. My nickname starts with polite. I pretend that's me in the lead. Okay, that's exactly what I'm saying, Amy. What kind of question is this? I don't know. Well, a question I didn't get right. Eat too much of them. Huh. Like a oxymoron. I think the question. Blaine needs to get this one wrong, and I need to get it right. I did get it wrong. So did you. Looks like she did too, <laughs> <laughs> What is the Skittles slogan? Oh, that's easy. M&M's better than Skittles. Taste the rainbow barf. Taste the rainbow. Somewhere. What was Twix originally called? I think that was in there too. No, it wasn't. Never mind. I won't buy Skittles anymore since they got rid of lime about seven years ago. I was still working at the school. Raider, huh? Hmm. Absolutely. Glowing sable. Is that Amy? I guess. Uh, wasn't she super cat or not? Oh, I don't know. That's who it was second a while ago. I was imagining that was. Glowing Sable got a whole lot of them right. I know that much. Yeah. Which candy, chewy candy, is America's number one most popular? It's my favorite. You would think any better. But maybe slippers. Well, I mean, yes. I went with the one that, I mean, I like them both, but. I don't know. I went with Starburst. I don't know if I like gummy bears, though. I'll probably have some on my way to Myrtle Beach next week. All right, a week after. Some what? Gummy bears. Gummy bears? bears. No. Gummy bears. I'll probably have a two liter of Mountain Dew driving to Disney World. <laughs> Well, Amy, we went we went opposite way, so uh, I picked the other, and you picked that one. So uh, one of us is going to gain a little momentum. Oh, starburst! There it is. Hey, Shelly, if you still have your costume, I put the link in the chat. You want to come up and show it to us? Starburst. All right. Charming Pigeon moved up to third. A fourth. Who invented airheads? My wife would say I did. Or I should have. You just make airheads uh, popular, so. <laughs> <laughs> Milton Hershey. I tell you what, they got these uh, airheads now that 
the um, tropical looking ones is, and they're filled with something, you know, a little snack food there, a little snack. Hey, really? Hmm. They have things in them now. Oh, little white there. things. Yeah, they're they're good. A little sour kick to them. Huh? You have to find yeah, a little tra a little snack pack thing, almost like what gummy bears and stuff comes in that little size bag. They're good. And they're airheads. Yep. Huh. I would have to see if I uh, can't remember the name of them now. Steve Bruner. Light on Paula has a streak with four correct answers in a row. Name this candy bar. Name this candy bar. Hmm. In the world? What in the world is that? No, oh, I think I know it. Yeah. I think so. I know what it's I know one that's not, and I don't know about the other ones. Starburst are great. Yep, they are. They do make the packs of Starburst. I think that they only have the pink and red ones in there. Oh, there it is. I knew it was one of those two. I knew it was one of those two as well. Charleston Chew. I see Charleston Chews, but I never actually had one. Jonathan says, can't be too. Huh. Cowtails are like um, circular, and that was like... Like so I, rolls, huh? Yeah, that's probably what I should have done was thought about that. 25. True or false? Candy corn has more potential to cause tooth decay than other chocolate-based candy. True, I guess. I don't know. 50-50 chance. It's sugar, so, I mean, I don't see why not. True. Yeah. Wow. Everybody. Twenty six. Would you eat a candy corn bagel? I guess everybody got this one right because that's a opinionated question. Yep. I know my answer. Candy corn bagel. Would you? I probably would try it. I'd probably try it, but I put no. Just I don't know. I just I don't think so. But I, I like candy corn. I actually went to the store today. That, they didn't have no candy corn. I was like, what? Actually, I didn't see no candy. Mm -hmm. I probably went down the wrong aisle, obviously. <laughs> yeah, opinionated. Both of them were correct. I like buttholes. Everybody's got one. Everybody's got an opinion. You say like buttholes? That's true. Lively Kitten has the highest answer streak of three. Candy yeah. corn used considered what seasonal candy? Candy corn used to be considered what seasonal candy? Used to be. Used considered what? Summer. I tell you what, yep. Summer. You're right. Uh, oh, I got it right. Wow. Adric said summer. Well, dang um, wow. better my butt and call me a biscuit. Tough round. Three players lost their answer streak of three. Yep. Twenty-eight. During its development, Hubba Bubba was referred to as. Hmm. 
or bubble tape? No, not bubble tape. That's different. They still have bubble tape. It's like that. Circle. That's what that's how bubble. But that's who makes it. I bet I missed this one. It's probably uh I bet it's this one. Down at the bottom. You think so? Yep. Yep. You only one got it right. I didn't I'm not playing. Somebody uh, got it right. I figured it was gonna be H B. I put humble bowl or whatever it says. Stagecoach. I guess Jonathan got it right. Uh, they say it yeah. Two more to go. Most popular lifesaver flavor. Heck if I know. I had that lifesaver in a long time. I like the chewy ones. Yeah. Oh, John, uh, Brian got that last one, right? Uh, Jonathan thought he knew it. <laughs> Grapes, pretty good flavor, but I didn't go with that. Hey, I got it right. Orange. Aren't you glad I picked it? Orange, you glad I picked it? Jeez. True or false? You can get your peeps in liquid form. Huh. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want peeps to begin with, so I can't imagine that. Poor little bird. Yeah. Peep juice. Got it wrong. Oh Lord. A lot of other people did. <laughs> we gotta look for peep juice. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, that's nasty. That was it. Yeah, that's it. We got a guest down in the basement, so let's see how we did here. Third place, Glowing Sable. Second place, Smiling Dove. And your winner is... Polite Impala. Anthony Simone got third. There you go, guys. Yeah. Yep. I got I to search this uh, peep juice. Let's uh, <laughs> let's bring up our guest from the from the land of the dead, <laughs> Dia de los Muertos. Hey, Shelly. Hey guys. Awesome. How are you? Good. How are you? I am good. Very cool. Is that cool? Solo layout. Here you go. Come on, make you full screen. There that's you go. All, that's all you. Show your costume. Very cool. Uh -huh. I'm like. Oh, wow. Skin bones and stuff. <laughs> Did you make that? Nope. Oh. Awesome. Thanks. No, um, before we moved up here, I was close to like Halloween stores and I would just purchase things randomly throughout the years. Right. So so that I could like combine different Halloween pieces to make outfits. Very cool. That's yeah. awesome. Thanks. Thanks for inviting me up. No problem. Is that the peep juice? <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, kind of like eggnog and stuff, so I guess it is. Look at there. Hold on a second. Ew. No, thank you. Yeah. Marshmallow, chocolate, see there, peeps. I guess that's what it's talking about. Marshmallow, Easter mm -hmm. eggnog, and then marshmallow. It's like mm -hmm. a drink. I guess so. It's just like 
The one in the middle said Easter eggnog, so it's almost like milk. Jeez. Hmm. It doesn't even sound appetizing. That's nasty. And then they got one that says, oh, it says they're back. And one that says strawberry cream flavored milk. And it's by Peeps. So I guess Good night, what... John. Thanks for hanging out with us, buddy. Hope you all are well. Tell Nancy we say hello. Hi, Landon. Hi. Bill, Bill says it looks amazing. Why don't you do a test? I don't know if you're talking about the mushroom or the peep juice. <laughs> peep juice is a no for me. Kenneth Oaks, if you're in the house, you need to do a test taste and let us know how it tastes. Anthony says gross. Amy says it sounds gross. Oh, gross. Gross peep milk. Hey, so, Blaine, your friend yeah. up here. My friend behind me. Yeah, it keeps on always turns and. <laughs> She's about to wake him up. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's Wayne's favorite. Oh, yeah, I know. And Johnny. Johnny liked it, too. She said it would go into Goodwill the next day. <laughs> Mix with rum might be okay, Bill says. Rum and peep juice. Peep juice. That sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. Occasionally, enough, enough rum will lead to peep juice. Yeah. Kenny says, kind of juice. <laughs> have cracked me up tonight. Some of the things you have said tonight. Yeah, thanks, Kenny. She, is she drinking peep juice? Oh, uh, I just got some water. <laughs> just water. Uh, not that special water. No, that's waiting for me when I get all this off. <laughs> no kids tonight. I'm here with you. Yeah, we appreciate it, Lori, very much. Yeah, thank you. So how'd I do? I do okay? Yeah. Good. She didn't tell you to go away. She meant she has no kids with her tonight, you goofball. <laughs> oh, no kids. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, we were playing Bean Boozled when we started the show, Shelly. Have you played that before? No. With the different flavored jelly beans, uh, jelly bellies? Mm -mm. Some of them are good flavors and some of them are gross. My my daughter's done that. Around? Like a spin land. I guess, I guess we're going to play one more round before we close it out tonight. It's like a vomit flavor and yep. grass. Yep. And, yeah. Dirty socks. Oh, you can't get me to do that. My daughter did, but mm -mm. I hey, have no Shelly, while we have you up here, you want to tell everybody about your channel? Oh, um, well, I just got done from a break from my channel because <laughs> I've been busy. So, um, Thursday night, I did have a live stream, it was Halloween themed. I, I don't know if you guys got to go back and Pass the word or not. I shared uh, photos from the St. Louis Cemetery, um, the Myrtles Plantation, which is supposedly America's uh, most haunted home out of Louisiana as well. And then I shared some 70s and 80s Halloween commercials because I'm nostalgic like that. Because normally I do my, like, my 80s music streams Friday night, which I will be doing again <laughs> next Friday. We'll be doing the year 1988. Very cool. So, yeah. And I always, I'm always working on videos. Eventually they will be put out. <laughs> they will be posted. <laughs> but thank you. Yeah. No What'd you get, Larry? But my stream is mostly supposed to be about photography, um, places that I go, things that I see. But I've had added video and drone footage to my um, 
my stuff now too. So yeah. it's taking a little longer to uh, process or produce. Hey, wait, come do it. Uh, well, he got it like he that, got right? stink bug or marshmallow, marshmallow, toasted marshmallow. Put you know, in. eat it all. That's funny. Last night, as I was sitting here on oh. my lonesome, my dude, stink bug. Blaine's dude went off by itself and it's motion censored. And I'm like, okay, so what set it off? I go over there. There's a stink bug climbing on it. <laughs> stink, bug. <laughs> stink bug set it off. That's terrible, huh? Yeah. Oh, hey, Ray came in third place. Good job, buddy. Oh, awesome, Timmy. Congratulations. He had a race tonight, so he came in third. So he ate a stink bug flavored Jelly Belly? Yep. You, you, you don't know if you're getting a good flavor or a bad flavor. His choice is like the one he, he ate was either stink bug or toasted marshmallow and ended up being stink bug. Oh, that B word in the Kahoot game. Uh, so now it's my turn. Doesn't sound good. I heard, uh. <laughs> oh, no, not another one. Just do a different one. You already got like that one. Peach or barf? I'm going to spin again. Oh, my gosh. No way. He got he got barf earlier. Spin again. Aww. He got booger that time. Anthony. He got booger he got booger that time. Butter popcorn or rotten egg. Maybe it's rotten egg. I don't like either. <laughs> <laughs> well, not the jelly belly buttered popcorn. I don't like that. I like real buttered popcorn. You're gonna get the buttered popcorn It right. looks like the buttered popcorn. Somebody mentioned earlier they got a new Skittles game out or something. I'm gonna get the Skittles game. Yep. Butter popcorn? Nope. <laughs> Take it like a mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Yummy. Rotten egg. Yuck. Hey, I want to ask you guys that are in the chat still with us if you guys can give us some topics that you'd like to see here in a couple of weeks on our family game night. Some different topics for cahoots that you guys would like to see us play. If you'll just type those in the chat for us. Hey, I know the preview. And then, uh, oh, sorry. I also want to remind you guys to go check out our Facebook group, First of All Family Vacay Traveling with Kids, uh, because there we'll have a poll for next week's trivia. Uh, and I hope to God that we have power. At our house by next Wednesday, so we can have trivia. But uh, I'll put the poll up there, and hopefully, we'll be able to do it this this Wednesday. And if not, then we'll just do whatever category wins. We'll do that next Wednesday. Um, but I just wanted to remind everybody about that. So, if you guys also, Shelly, did you mention your Instagram? No, I didn't. Me, but. I don't remember what it's called now. It's, you changed it like three times. It's Shelly's Snapshots. There you go. Yeah, because I'm not, I did have photography up there, but I'm not like professional. Like I don't do like weddings or, pro, you know, stuff like that. I'm just out and about. So I thought Snapshots was more appropriate. Right. So that's what I changed it to. All right. I see one. One suggestion here, world geography. Blaine, do you have to have something to write these things down with? Yeah. Because I don't. I'm still going to have to get the trivia suggestions from you, too. Yeah, no. that was the thing. As I mentioned Buffy the Vampire Slayer the other night, but I was just kidding because I'm, oh. I'm probably the only one that would know. <laughs> oh, the country's trivia. Anybody else have any suggestions on different types of uh, Kahoot you guys would like to see us play next game night? So we're talking Kahoot games, right? Yeah, right now. Tonight was, tonight was straight, straight Halloween, Shelly. I was I was planned to be in another stream or I would have been here. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah. Unfortunately, they weren't able to join me on my stream Thursday. So. <laughs> animals, that's a good one. Yeah, animals, I'll win that one. You'll win that one, yeah, you probably will, huh? 
World Geography County's tri Country's Trivia. Anybody got about two more or so? Animals. Um, I'm kind of, uh, I know they got, they got some on there with uh, like symbols or lo slogans or something we could do like. Or like my game that I like to do, logos. Logos. Logos, yeah. yeah. That'd be enough. World geography, countries, animals, and logos. That'd be cool. How yeah. about have you done food? Have you done food what or anything you? yet? Dinosaurs. We could do food. That'd be good too. And dinosaurs. Oh, Grizzly Brothers. Good to see you. It's been a while. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> Better late than never. Better late than never. Don't forget. Right. Oh, oh. Jenny says cars. Yeah, I put cars. I put world world geography and then countries and the animals, logos, cars, food, dinosaurs. Well, that's plenty. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll be cleaning up for a couple. And you can mix that in with your Wednesdays, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's about all I have for tonight, guys. I just want to thank everybody again for hanging out with us. And uh, hope you guys had a great Halloween night. And again, if you guys will just tell us what you have coming up next. Shelly, you said this coming Friday, you have. Next Friday, I got my 1988 80s music trivia. All right. Very good. Blaine? I have my Monday night uh, travel trip at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then next, or this coming Thursday, I'll be a guest on this at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then Monday, I may do a pop up. Uh, going, to Myrtle, going to Myrtle Beach on sun next Sunday. So, uh, and then um, the, um, the, the, whatever date that is on that Monday, we'll be live from Myrtle Beach as well. So, awesome. that's awesome. Yep. And uh, for us, hopefully, it's going to be our trivia on Wednesday night <laughs> as long as we have power. So, please just make sure you check out our Facebook group. Uh, all the links for our channel and also for Kimberly's Norwex and her travel agent page. Videos. So if you guys wouldn't mind clicking on those and checking those out, we would appreciate it. Welcome in, Mike. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, just getting here. We're, we're just getting ready to close close shop. So hope you, you guys are doing well. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Thank you, boys. Awesome. Hey. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. No, for, for thank you. And can I tell thank everybody you. to go out and check out the full moon if you can, because it's the last Halloween full moon till 2039. That's right. I got some video footage today of it coming up over the lake. Pretty excited about it. Very <laughs> cool. Thank you guys again so much. And as always, take time to make memories. Take time to make memories. Have a good one, guys. Don't forget to set your clocks back. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs>